Oh boy, a nice big warm bowl of that soup is going to taste good on a day like this. And eating healthy doesn't have to be hard, even though it just takes a little bit of work. Coach and nutrition expert Jenny Eicher is here to get us on the right track and really simple methods on right. how to do this. Now, how easy is it to make healthy choices? Uh, it's 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 easy. It's okay. just your willingness. So um, I have created a cookbook that's going to guide you through it all steps of the way. But in that is five easy switches everyone can make. Okay. There are small steps to help you get healthier life. The first two switches are pretty much everybody would think of. First of all, water. Water. This is my, this is my giant water bottle. Two or three of these a day for me. What's the formula that you said? Half of your body weight in ounces. Okay, so yeah. I weigh, whoops, about 100 and say 190. Okay. And so half of that is 95. So 95 ounces of water? It's going to help to flush out all the toxins. It's also going to help your body to do its functions, like your brain to give all, you know, to think, to move, give your muscles what it needs. So it's really important to drink your water and then exercise, okay. of course. And then exercise, we that being the other one. Already, yes, okay. three to four days a week, ideal. Now, we've got a graphic for the next one, and it yeah. is... Cook more, eat out less. And the first thing that comes to mind with that is you're going to save a bunch of money. Yeah, you're going to save a bunch of money. But more than that, you know, my book is all about clean eating. So what you put into your body is going to be the output of how you feel and act on a daily basis. So if you are going out to eat, you are less likely to know what you're putting into your body, mm -hmm. right? So when you can control that and you can cook at home, um, not only are you saving money, you can learn um, strategies to save time and also know that you're putting quality ingredients into your body. Which leads us into the next switch, yeah. which is meal prep with quality portions in mind. Quality right. and portions in yeah, mind. Yeah, quality and portions. So yesterday I uh, meal prepped just like I usually do about once a week. In less than two hours, I was able to do all the components for three different meals. Now, a lot of people might look at that and go, oh, it took me two hours to do all this meal prep, but... I'm done for the week. You're done for the week. <laughs> I'm done for the week. I just have to heat it up and eat it. So, and, and during that two hours, you also took care of some of the other chores yeah, around? I did some laundry, you... played with my dog, you know, try not to neglect him. So <laughs> as you're, you know, putting uh, things in the oven or whatever, you put in a load of laundry right. and... Letting soup uh, cook. Throw the ball for Fido right. and... Yeah. Everything else. Everything else. So it really does. You do all your chopping, all your prep. You think, I've got meal prep tools in here so you can actually like reuse and utilize ingredients to save yourself money. Well, then the other thing comes to mind is what, as far as a meal plan, and that's in here as well. You've got an example right. of a meal plan. Yeah. And then the chart to fill it out. Right. And it's all based on different levels of readiness. So where you're at, there's a quiz in here you get to take to kind of figure out where you should start. Um, like we mentioned earlier, if you try and do it all at once, it's not sustainable. Okay. So we want to make it sustainable for you so it's all small baby steps laid out for you. The other thing with cooking with your own food is right. not only um, the chemicals and everything else in prepared food, but you said to watch out for hidden ingredients. Be the super sleuth. And yeah. Sugars? That's the worst thing, right? Sugars and added uh, chemicals, ingredients to help things stay on the shelf longer. Preservatives, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, that's really what makes things stay on the sh shelf and makes them a little bit cheaper. However, you get what you pay for. So um, there's a lot of hidden sugars in even things like um, broth or okay. ketchup, ketchup, yeah, the condiments, okay. those kinds of things. All right. And your book, you can find it on Amazon? It's on Amazon. It's called Take Back Your Kitchen. Um, and then all the links are on my website, Take Back with Jenny. And uh, I've got some giveaways going on right now, too. And how do you do that? Very quickly. Um, you're going to go to my website or to Take Back with Jenny on Insta. All the rules are there, but you're going to be pretty much cooking my uh, meals, tagging me in them, and getting more chances to win um, either a complimentary session with me to figure out how to get this all working or some favorite ingredients okay. of mine. Well, once again, you can purchase a copy of Take Back Your Kitchen. Visit SALive.com and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. There's information on how to purchase it. And stick around because Jenny's going to be sharing a healthy recipe that you can make at home. Nice warm soup on a day like this. Mm, I'm ready And for it. are you looking for the perfect cheat meal? We couldn't get all in with all of this good stuff. Boy, have we got something for you. David knows just the place to get your taco fix, so stay with us.